other people from your team. And a question to propose, a very simple question. What do you think of the changes we've implemented? What are your thoughts on the new technology? Can you look around the room and no one says anything? In fact, you notice that people's heads are down. And you know what they're thinking because you're thinking the same thing. Please don't call me. Please don't call me. Please don't call me. You cannot see me. I am not here. Leadership that wins equals a team that can. Ready? And you can like get into it. Yes, already. Yes, you ready? So leadership that wins equals a team that
So fast paced, task oriented, the receiver is average paced people person. The person's going to say, I want this done, this time, by this person. It is bullet point format. And the receiver's like, wait, what? I need to know why you want that done. Why you picked that person. And more details on how you even came up with that to begin with. You want all the details. And you may even be thinking, why is he mad at me? What did I do? But if you flip it around and you are average paced people person talking to someone who is fast paced, task oriented, and you're giving all the details and all the intricacies and you want to sit down and tell them everything about it, like what they should be wearing, what the color of their shoes are, every single thing, he's thinking she does not respect my time. I don't have time to listen to this. What is your point? Because you will lose that person after about two minutes of talking. So when we come in and have our agenda set of how we communicate, oftentimes we don't take into consideration how other people communicate because we all come from different backgrounds and experiences. How many people in here in the work practice or in any work situation has ever dealt with a negative Nancy or a toxic 10? You may be dealing with it right. Two hands go up. You may be dealing with it right now, right? And what it does is it spreads the team. It makes a huge, builds a gap in you guys. And negative attitudes directly come from our negative thoughts. That people who have negative attitudes don't recognize that they're coming from negative thoughts. And so negative attitudes will not go away on their own. And a lot of people think they will. Ooh, just ignore it. It's going to go away. It's going to work itself out. It won't. It has to be addressed. And the way to address it is through courageous conversation. What do you think the number one communication issue is that prevents effective leadership? Just throw out an answer. So what part of communication? Lack of communication. Yes. Consistency in communication? Yes, way at the back. The delivery. I'm sorry? The delivery. How you deliver? Their delivery? Okay, one more. Yes. I'm listening. Is that what you said? Is that what you said? <laughs> yes, awesome. But the number one communication issue is lack of appreciation. For those of you who have not, I recommend everybody take the love language test. Everybody have their people take the love language test. And then after you do that, nothing will change. <laughs> because the only way things are going to change is if you act on the information you found out. So everybody at the office takes it, you exchange information, let everybody else know what everybody else's love language is, and then implement it. So how can you engage your team more? I want you to speak with about two or three people for just a minute and share an idea of how you can better engage your team in different situations. So when you create that culture, your people will follow you anywhere.